Hello and welcome back to another part of the HGLP, I like to call it. <laughs> Last time we did the rainbow puzzle, I guess. I don't know. It was just okay. I was just, I was just making sure I remembered what. Oh. Because well, we're obviously gonna need that for later on. Yeah. Okay. I was like, what, what, what are you? What are you doing? God save the king. Is that a restoration point? Yeah, that is a restoration point. Probably water is pure. Oh, that's that's chugging mouldy water. This gets us fucking strong and slurps the entire thing. <laughs> that's why when people drown, I don't get it, because basically you can just get a straw and just drink all the water before you drown, right? Sure, <laughs> sure, alright. Don't drown, just drink the water, silly goose. <laughs> Scold, I thought that way was praise. Save it, just save it every time you get a chance. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Every time you get a chance, I think if you ever do, if we ever do a hard more playthrough, you'll probably be doing that anyway, won't you? Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because I already know where it is. <laughs> yeah, basically, if you're doing this blind, you don't need a computer to like, go over there, but oh, I, I smell the stick. I guess it's a stick, I'm a staff, I don't know. How you has been this entire game? That could mean anything. Oh, I'm scared. I don't like that. Yikes. <gasps> it's a giraffe. I wonder if that's like her birthmark. I don't know. Just the stack of hermes. I don't know how or why, but for some reason, I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. Cane of Cadicia. Oh, Cad I don't know how to pronounce that. Cadicius? So, I don't know. It's a, it's a Latin. I guess it's like Latin. It's not this thing. So. Do you remember that I have to go through here later on? Because. This is the final stretch. Pretty much. Have you got a save point? Yeah, I'll save it. This I'll be able to save it after this one. Oh, so basically this might be the last part then. Yeah. I'm more than happy. Oh, no, it will be the last part, but it'll be the um, last gameplay part, basically. Oh, Unless Huey is very obedient. There we go. And thankfully, the only way I can tell when the rumbling will knock her over is when I when my camera give me a second. To, uh, <laughs> How long do you plan to keep crash. the search? Let's finish this, Fiona. I kissed my own brother. Fiona. Oh, my son. Oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot how fast he was. Come on, then. 
Thank you so much, Huey. Yeah, Hewitt. fucking decked your ass. <laughs> Thank you so much, Huey. Precious little twat. Why are these little things in the bar? Those are rocks you can kick in. What's that? Uh, he'll, he'll, he'll make like little uh, spots of fire that he that you can make him walk into. Go! 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 Oh! <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, no. uh -oh. oh, oh yeah, he dodged that. He dodged it. Oh, he dodged oh. that one. Oh, that's it. Oh, hey. Somehow it don't affect her, though. Oh, anyway. <laughs> Oh, he was. balls and toasted <laughs> quite nicely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even he finds it funny. I died to a flame. Wah, wah. Wah. <laughs> Did somebody say barbecue ribs? <laughs> mm. You get a lot of praise for that. Good boy. Now the stress levels right now are zero percent, but the second he comes back, oh that those stress levels are gonna be Anakin Skywalks out, save it, right? We can we smack the home stretch, it's gonna be the last part, fellas. A nice ride, hopefully. Ho hopefully, I don't get fucking. I'll put a spice hole pack if you, if you get murked, it's fine. Barbecue coming ribs. For, coming for that booty! Barbecue. <gasps> right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need Huey for that door. Huey, you Huey. twit. Right. Because of the vibration on my controller, it gives me an indication that I need to Yeah, it's best to just do this because you're going to waste a lot of precious time. I, I am. I have no patience. Yes, it falls on you. Gotta press those buttons. Doesn't give you any indication. Oh god, there he is. Run. Okay, we got it. Okay. Shut up. He is an instant death if you get him. <laughs> if he gets shit, it's an instant death, by the way. That's why it's so stressful. <laughs> this part will never be stressful, even if I know exactly what I'm doing. Huh? Never not <laughs> But if the time the crouch is very, very off, like, very, very good. Because if you don't, fucking hell, you're just gonna get, he's gonna hug you and you're gonna die. But then again, what's, if he, 
if you figure it out, you can. That's when your controller becomes the most convenient. Yeah. Because <gasps> every. <t> <laughs> One last scream before I die. But like every single time the controller basically vibrates, that's like press the crouch button now. Unless you want to be flung around like a rag doll. There we go. That's Lorenzo done and dusted. This time, you really are dead, bastard. <sighs> Thank you. Good boy. Thank you for helping me with that damn door. After the, after the fifth time, you've said you to do something. Open the door. Open your door. No. No. You oh. can't make me. <laughs> Open your door. Open your door. Oh, happiness noises. Thanks, Huey. <laughs> I just saw your comment. <laughs> You saved my life, now I'm gonna watch you end. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> there we go. Just one of the endings you can get. Also one of the better ones. It's not the best in my opinion. But it's, it, it, between this one and the best ending, it's not like a massive, massive on, difference. Boy. I think my favourite ending is when, for this ending, you'd have to spare Debilitas. Because then up, boy. he'll give you a key to, you know, that bathroom? Mm -hmm. There'll be a door that, which leads to, I presume, some sort of basement. Where you can either get the metal boots, which I think... Uh, it gives you kick power. I think so, yeah. And, um, and there'll be, obviously, the gate key. And when you use the gate key, similar cutscene happens. But when she obviously finally walks off with Hero, <laughs> old Lorenzo will come screaming. And then, because he's only obviously on a wheelchair, he legit fucking flies down the stairs. Like, no, my eyes off, my life, Fiona. I'll probably, if we do the hard mode playthrough, I'll probably try and show that then potentially. Mm. That's only if people want to see that. Make sure you comment and see if you want to see that. We'll gladly play this game again. But yeah, that's the end of Point of Ground. Overall, a really, really good experience. And uh, yeah, it's a really good game. And if you want to play it, I was just playing it. It can get priced in PS2. Emulators, oh, you yeah. can do it. Emulators, emulators are not perfect, but it's good enough. But yeah, that's that's the game. Do you, Probably you annoyed it. Do you know what's quite nice about it? Is the fact that this is the only game where every time I complete it, I always get that feeling of achievement. Yeah, it's a. Uh, one of the better survival horrors, but it's got a different sort of aspect to it. It's basically like, basically I read up on it like recently. Basically, yeah. they added Huey as like a second thing. Cause like, they wanted the game to sell well, so I thought having a game with a get with a woman and a dog in it might sell more. Obviously, not getting me started on fucking the time frame of they of them getting this game out. It's, it's just it's the yeah, stupidest you're, you're, shit. You're just going around. <laughs> It's, it's the dumbest shit, like, it's just, it's a bit of a shame, but at the same time, I like the fact that it's a, that it's a bit of a, it's, it's, it's like, it's like an antique at this point. Yeah, but I feel like, it's a game, it's, I think, to be fair, it's a game that, if you're a, 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 you're a woman playing it, it's, like it's, me. it's, it's, it's be better, because obviously you can understand the characters a bit further. So like essentially, me. the game essentially just does its job, like what's the force. Yeah, it's game. really good in terms of horror and stuff. Like it's like it's it's a it's like a deep dive into like real life sort of like situation of people and stuff. 
was uh, Andra Gore. She, she, she played the, she played the, she played the fucking little plants. How, 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 right? How fucking high can your fucking voice go? I think she might have like, you know, scream up to the bed. Oh, I'm probably. There's no way, there's no way you can scream out and have the end voice fine. But yeah, I said, end of the, end of the, end of the, uh, End of the playthrough. No, not gonna lie, I thought she was. I feel like all the men quickest. I mean, yeah, because you sort of like a. Because then, then you have obviously him as a bit of a red hair. And then. I, I, tell me, wonder why they added the middle age for Renzo. Because, like, do you know when you look at the model? You can have him as a model, but um, he only has one animation one, just stuck there, look at melon. I don't know, I think, I think it's just to show, like, different sort of, like, of everything, all the models, everything. But, oh, I, I we'll go this. through that in the next, we'll do a little extras, sort of, video, just oh, after I, this I one. I love listening to this. Don't affect me as much as Hugh's fucking thing does. I think, as I said, a remake would be would be a f would be a smash hit. To be fair, I highly doubt those. Some, so, obviously, some things will have to change. Obviously, the sexualization of the character to a certain degree, because you know what people like nowadays they won't get it. So, actor est fabula, the story is done. So, oh, that's what. That's good. Yeah, this is at the end. You get a. So you get a rating or something. Rating, there's a uh, numerous ratings. The wor worst one is a, um, the worst one is a uh, dog beater, which is something I will never have. One step before you go anywhere else, I'm gonna double check something there. So, Ignis Orin Probat. Ignis Orin Probat. What does that mean? It means fire tests gold. Oh, I've actually watched a like a retrospect on this, mm. where I think I don't know if it's a woman or a man, but the man will all uh, uh, will always translate what they are. Yeah. So, uh, fire test gold, a phrase referring to the refining of character through difficult circumstances. It is also the motto of the Prometheus Society. So basically, means you know, fire makes. Things that makes a character like stronger, basically. Like, refine, refinement to through fair, struggle. To be fair, that 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 does make it's refinement through struggle, basically. Yeah, struggle. So, so, yeah, so that makes quite a lot of sense. Oh, came here. I think that no, it's not the fairy earrings. The fairy earrings is Morgan. So I think that like different endings or something. I think so. Different endings will say. Put this on a plate key or something, and I'll be like, "Yeah, I'll do that." But anyway, I think it's time to uh, say goodbye to the gameplay of Army Ground. It's been a fun little play for I think. If you I've liked it, lot, I've had a lot of fun. If you liked it, please let us know. If there's any other games you might think you know on PS PlayStation Two, we can like tend to try and let's play, and we'll see you all in the next one or the next video that I make. So, ciao for now. Hope you well. Bye.